Hey, what's up everybody? We recently did a mudroom renovation and I have this pine tabletop counter that I'm going to stain. Uh, basically, the only stain that I have is black stain, but I don't want it to cover up that natural, beautiful wood grain. So in this video, we're going to be taking some really dark black stain and changing it to basically something like this. In other words, how to lighten up some black stain so that you can see that natural, beautiful wood grain underneath the wood. So that's what this video is all about. And this video does start now. All right, so a little context for you. We basically installed these base cabinets, painted them up because we wanted some more storage and a little countertop, not a table, but more of a countertop for this made of wood. So here it is. I'll put a separate video out on how I actually made that. Um, it turned out really well the actual um, countertop tabletop right there. I put a little um, layer on the end to make it look a little thicker. It's actually only like, you know, a half or quarter inch thick wood, but it with that trim piece, it looks quite long. So basically what we're gonna be doing first to lighten up your dark stain, if you have black stain, um, we're gonna be doing several test strips. I highly recommend that you get out this um, a, a piece of pine or whatever your, your actual wood is that you're gonna be um, staining because uh, you want it to be the same type of wood, right? Uh, to compare apples to apples. And we're going to be doing a lot of different types of scenarios involving um, a stripping uh, chemical, a bleach, or just bleach, and um, also some different sanding variations. So you can see here I have two layers of black stain. And on this one, we are going to be applying some household bleach. And in this next one, we're going to be applying this chemical stripper for like deck stripping if you have a stained deck i'll put a link down below for some different things the different things that i'm using here we're also going to do a separate test scenario on a light grit sandpaper so i'm going to label this light sanding and i'm not putting any pressure on this at all i just want to get a feel for okay what is this going to look like um once I, you know, I, I want to be able to record the process under different scenarios, basically. And notice that I'm labeling everything here, too, on my samples. Here I have a pretty heavy grit, 60 grit or so sandpaper. And um, I'm going to be putting a little bit of pressure on there and labeling that accordingly. Heavy sanding. So here are my different scenarios. I also have four more on the underside. Certainly you could use a separate piece of wood if you wanted to do that. But I've got two different polyurethanes. We're going to put some brown on top of the black to see if we like that. And then, of course, we're going to time everything um, and see where we're at after 15 minutes and 30 minutes. And of course, your situation is going to be different depending on the color of your stain and whatnot. But definitely recommend putting in some time on your test um, process to make sure that, you know, what you do uh, is what you want. Um, you don't want to do this the first time on the actual tabletop. Now, here's me adding a little bit of brown to one of the samples right on top of two, um, two layers of black to see if it'll pick up any, any brown pigments at all. And the answer to that is probably not um, directly on top of it without sanding or anything like that um, because your base layer of stain is black. So brown on top of black doesn't work very well. However, if you wanted to sand that down, the, the two layers of black a little bit first, um, it will pick up some of the natural brown stain if you have that. So you can see I'm just, again, doing some different, different scenarios and label everything accordingly so you can remember uh, what you did. I promise you will forget, or at least at least uh, there were some situations where I was like, wait, what did I do here? Um, here you can see I'm applying some two different types of polyurethane sealant. We have, um, and I'll put links down below. I can't remember what this stuff is called. It's indoor, outdoor, um, high gloss. And I'm just, you know, putting it on and then kind of wiping it down really thinly with a um, paper towel, but certainly you could use a foam brush. I just didn't have to ha happen to have any um, present so kind of a do-it-yourself approach here now for the for the bleach i'm going to take some vinegar and some water in equal parts and i'm going to neutralize that after i'm happy with the results or i feel like i don't want it to get any lighter because that bleach will of course um, whiten up the stain right and so what i'm going to do is apply that after 30 minutes I did a test sample after um, 15. I didn't like it. I wanted to go a little darker. So I did 30 minutes and then I neutralized that bleach using vinegar and water. 
And ultimately, we were happy with this. We wanted to use that chemical stripper. After 30 minutes of that, um, this is what we were kind of looking for. And so that's what I did. I applied the uh, stripper to the actual countertop after I um, sealed it, or excuse me, I stained it with the black stain. And for 30 minutes, then after that, I sanded it down lightly. And I actually applied a little bit of brown stain, some natural brown stain to that. This was the test sample, if you remember, kind of what that looked like. So I applied a thin layer and then I sanded that down just a little bit. And that's it. Sealed it up. Look at that. Beautiful, dark still, but it's definitely lighter, right? It has like notes of white and also some brown pigmentation in it. And we think it is beautiful. And that's it. Black stain with a little bit of stripper for 30 minutes. And then sand it down. Put a little brown stain on top. Sand it down very lightly. And then seal it up. And don't forget to test it first. Thank you so much. And don't forget to subscribe if you want more videos like this.